Hi everyone, in this video we will have a very good crypto time by using Burp Suite Decoder. So Burp Suite Decoder is one of the best feature of Burp Suite. So the reason behind that is that with the help of Burp Suite Decoder, we can actually convert, encode and decode strings into various formats. And all these formats are like base64, we can convert the strings into URL encoding, URL decoding, similarly hex encoding, hex decoding, and even we can convert some strings into hashes like MD5 hash, SHA256 hash, and lot more. Now let's see how we can use this decoder tab in order to play with some crypto things. Now let's encode and decode some strings by using Bob Suite decoder tab. So you can see over here that my Bob Suite free edition is up and running. And let's just start with the temporary project and let's click on start Bob. And meanwhile, you can also see that our OS broken web application is up and running and its IP address is 192.168.0.160. And let's open this IP address in Firefox. And before we do so, we have to change network proxy settings. So let's just go here to options and click on network proxy settings and make it to 127.0.0.1 and port will be 8080 and now let me open that IP address and you can see over here that Bob Suite proxy tab starts blinking so now let's open OS Mutely Day and let me forward this request now let's say let me open this challenge that has information disclosure or let's open any random link okay so this is how our HTTP request looks like so you can see over here that there is one tab called as decoder so what we have to do we can even copy this entire request and we can just paste it over here otherwise we can just uh, just right click and we can click on the send to decoder so you can see over here that decoder tab starts blinking and here is our total request now, as I told you earlier that with the help of decoder request, we can encode or decode a particular string or parameter on like we can actually decode it or we can encode it in URL encoding, base64, we can even encode that string in hex, octal and binary. Or what else we can do? We can even convert that strings into different hashes like MD5 hash, SHA512, MD2 hash. Now let's see how we can do that. So in order to encode any particular string, we just have to first select the string. So you can see over here that there is one cookie parameter that is PHP session ID. So just for example, let me just select the session ID. So once you select a particular string, here is some option on the right hand side you can see. So the first one is encode as and the second one is decode as. So let's say, uh, let's encode it to base64 and you can see over here that as soon as we clicked on base64 a new request will be made so you can see over here a new query string and now this time if you look at this php session id it's something different and at the last you can see this equals to sign which is just of course of base64 now in order to decode it let me just select this up and click on decode as base64 and here you can see our same request back which is at the top now let me show you what else we can do just for example while doing cross-site scripting attack uh, most of the times when you will add your uh, javascript payload you have to encode that payload so how let me show you how you can do that so let's say let me select this string let's say this is your javascript payload so once you select this string, you have to click over here in code as and here is one option URL. So if I just select this up and now let's look at our new query. So you can see over here a long random URL in code string. Now let's see what else we can do. So there are different different options. And now let's see how this ASCII hex value looks like. So let me select this one only get encode as and let's make sure it should be hex let's scroll down and our new query will becomes like get okay no worries ascii hex is the ascii value of this get now let's see how we can 
convert these strings into hashes. So let's say, let me just remove this and let's just write here admin. Let me select this admin and let me click on hash md5 and here you can see uh, md5 hash that is message digest authentication hash so let's just me just write down here something more interesting like hello let me click on hash and this time we want to make it hash sha256 you can see over here sha256 so this is the hash so let me gonna scroll up so one more thing you can do is there is one more option called a smart decode so just for example uh, you found one database where you just found some usernames and passwords but that passwords might be encrypted so what you can do you can just copy that strings and you can just paste it over here in decoder tab and then you can click on smart decode and by clicking on smart decode it will try to decode that strings and to figure out what kind of encryption is being used automatically now one more cool feature of this burp suite is that we can even convert these strings real time let's say you don't want to send this request to a decoder tab but still you want to do some transformation or some conversion so what else you can do even you can just uh, select a particular string or particular words and here is one option called as convert selection so here you can convert it on a real time so whether you want to convert in like url in code HTML in code, base64, construct sync, let's say URL and let's click on this URL encode all characters. So you can see over here, now here is our URL encoded string. And you can even decode these strings real time by just selecting these strings. Go to convert selection, URL, URL decode, you will see that we got our session ID back. So this is how it easy it is that we can actually use burp suite decoder tab in order to encode, decode and convert the strings into different hashes. So in this video we talked about that what are various kind of hashes and how we can encode and decode strings by using burp suite. So thanks for watching this video.